Hey, what's up everybody? Back with another video. I really need to redeem myself. My last video was chicken livers. And after I posted that on some social media pages, I lost three viewers. Apparently, not too many people like chicken livers. What we're going to do today is we're going to do something. Um, hopefully, everybody likes it. Um, we're going to do refried beans, but it's not going to be a quick refried beans. I'm going to warn you right now. It's going to be a, a, a fresh bean. Put it, boil it for a couple hours with some seasoning. Drain it, and then we're going to refry it in a uh, in a pan with some uh, some seasonings and some peppers. Uh, my kitchen's a mess, so whatever you see, please excuse the mess. Anyway, let's get to it. We got a pound of pinto beans. I'm gonna have to um, go through these, make sure there's no um, no no rocks. You should always do that, even even if people say that they've never found any. Do it because the last thing you want is someone to bite down on on a rock and then break a tooth. You also need um, some jalapeno peppers. I wanted some smoky flavor. I couldn't find ham hocks, but I got smoked turkey necks. We're gonna use uh, some. Ancho chilies. Uh, these are dried chilies. You get them in the supermarket. I don't even know if they're hot or not. No need to soak the beans. So I, I went through them. I picked through them. I put some water in here. I got about two inches above the water. Into that. Yeah. You can add a small onion. into the pot we're gonna let this come to a rolling boil for about 10 minutes before we add any other seasoning this will give it some more smoky taste I'm gonna cut the stems off and again you just like rough chop them. If you want to soak these to soften them up, go right ahead. But I would I would keep the water after you soak them because there's going to be a lot of flavor when you soak them. So just rough chop. Throw them in there. I forgot my uh, my other smoky flavor. So, like I said earlier, you know, a, a smoke flavor is good. A, a pork product would have been better, but I, I didn't have any pork products, so I'm going with smoked turkey. Smoked turkey next. So, um, and if you have to bring the water level up to get the water over that, that's fine. Um, I may even need a bigger pot. Um, I had to get a bigger pot. But um, that that smoky scent from the chilies and the turkey necks ah, oh, really really mm. so I'm gonna add more water to this on the other burner I put a pot of water because as the water volume goes down from the from being boiled away or from the beans soaking them up you want to um, refurbish it with um, hot water so this way it doesn't shock it and you don't have to wait for it to come back up to a boil we're just going to let this sit and bring it up to a boil that you know and then let it boil for 10 minutes now that I'm at a rolling boil for about 10 minutes I've got two tablespoons of Sazon seasoning two tablespoons of garlic powder and a tablespoon of smoked paprika and we're going to mix it up. Now through this whole process you want to make sure that the beans don't stick on the bottom. So you're going to want to uh, 
you're going to want to stir it frequently. At this point you may need to add some more water if you didn't add enough to begin with. I'm, I'm okay for now, but I think in about another 10 minutes I'm going to have to add some more. It smells, oh, it smells really good. This has got to go for about two and a half hours. So I'm just going to turn it down a little bit so it doesn't boil over. And I'm going to cover it. And I'll see you in two hours. So it's, um, it's been about two hours, and um, I do believe that these are ready. And we'll do a little test here. Press down. You can see, after pressing, the press is pretty easy. They're pretty tender now. We're going to strain the liquid, but we're not going to throw the liquid away. For this, we're going to need our cast iron. We're going to let these drain a bit. While those are draining, we're going to put some garlic. Alright, I'll prep this and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm heating up a skillet here. I'm going to put a couple tablespoons of butter. I got a bunch of garlic and a medium, medium small um, onion. These in. Okay. Now I'm going to add the beans. Okay, get your masher. And just start mashing your beans. So I'm going to get this kind of on the smooth side or broken down a little bit and then we'll be back. Okay, so now we're going to we're going to taste for seasoning. does not need salt but we're going to add some some pepper oh I forgot about the jalapenos let me get these jalapenos done real quick and I'll throw those in Okay, almost done. We're going to add about a tablespoon of sour cream. Uh, a little bit more than a tablespoon. And about the same amount of mayonnaise. Now 
All right. Get a spoon, give that a taste. Yeah, that's good. Would have been better if I cooked down the jalapeno with the uh, with the onions and, and the garlic, but I forgot. But all in all, it's not too bad. That's it. And uh, that refried beans took a couple hours, but definitely going to be worth it.